In this video, we're going to solve a particular problem which appeared in J Advanced 2019. So let's go ahead and understand the problem step. So here we are given a five person named as A, B, C, D, E, and also they are seated in a circular arrangement. Okay, okay. That means suppose they are sitting in a circular table. Now, each of them given a hat of one of the three colors, red, blue, or green, right? Now, it is says that we have to distribute the hats in such a way that two corresponding or the adjacent sets, right, are should not have same color. So they must have different color. For example, right, uh, let's go ahead. So here they are sitting in a circular arrangement. So A, B, C, D, E, okay, uh, three to five, okay. So now here they seated in this particular process. Now. It says that if this particular guy have a red cap, right, we should not have red in two places, okay? Now, I assume that this is blue, this is green, okay? So, the next one will be definitely a green and next one will be blue and so on and so forth, right? So, the, so that they, they should not be adjacent, right? So, that's the concept. So, let's go ahead and solve the particular problem. Okay, so now, <clears throat> here, Five person are given A, B, C, D, E, right? And they are seated in a circular arrangement. So let's go ahead and make a circular arrangement and rename it in uh, uh, order, right? A, B, C, D, right? So they, the people are seated. Now, what is given? The number of hats are three and they are red, blue, uh, uh, red, blue and green, right? That's the color combinations, right? Now it says that, right? That no two adjacent people have the same color. So therefore, what happened, right? So for example, right, I'm just talking about that, the repetition of that uh, one color card, uh, one color hat, right? So for example, I choose, right, three red color hat, okay? Because I uh, assuming that, that all the five people, right, it will be distributed like three red, one blue, one green, okay? So the five people is done, right? Now I'll see that if I substitute R here, the next red color must be placed in C, next one must be placed in R, E, right? But still, right, we have two uh, uh, consecutive per person will have red hat. So therefore, we should not have three red hat, okay? Now, obviously then, as three is not possible, so therefore four red hat is not possible, okay? Five red hat is also not possible because then if all are red, right, ah, the condition by default will not satisfy. If it is four, right, so obviously you can, whatever you choose, right, I cannot place, right, the fourth hat, right, in any places, right, because then it should not be there. So therefore, it's quite possible that, right, that two is the right choice, right? So let's see that. So I consider that we have uh, two red, two blue, and one green, okay? Let's assume that. So therefore, I put red here. I can't put red here, right? Or maybe I put red, okay? Now it's blue. So I put blue in middle, blue again here, and green the remaining plus. Now see that there are no two consecutive ads. So therefore, we can say that, right, the maximum number of hats of same color in this uh, arrangement must be equal to two, okay? That's it. So therefore, what will be the possible arrangement, right? So therefore, for possible arrangement will be either two red, two blue, and one green, or maybe two red, one blue, two green, or one red, two blue, and two green, okay? And we named it as case one, two, and three. Okay, that's it. So this is the possible arrangement it can be. Okay, let's go ahead. We concentrate on case one. Okay, uh, because if we understand the case one, right, all other remaining case will be understood. Right, it's only about the color. Right, so mathematically that doesn't change anything. Okay, let's go ahead. So here the hats, right? So let us consider the hats. So here the hats are in color wise I'm talking about. All are two red, two blue and green, okay? So green is only one in number, right? So therefore, first we perform the analysis, okay? 
uh, based on the starting with the green one, okay so we consider that how you place the green card green hat sorry now this green hat can be given to any of the five person right because no one has the hat currently right so whatever you give the hat right the condition will, will not be violated right so green hat can be possibly given to any of the five person right so therefore green hat can be given in five ways so let us consider right for time being right that a person have the green hat so i consider that a in have the uh, green hat. yeah okay that's it so this is for the possibility is done now see that how we place right the blue and uh, red card right now see that uh, as green is placed right and we don't have uh, any other uh, cap relate so we have two red and two blue right so these are the possibilities now let's go ahead so let's choose that so then b can have either blue or red right so whatever i want i can place it in the blue blue right so it will be either blue or red so see that i place that blue and red now notice that here uh, just notice this uh, notation right i write right one blue outside of the circle one blue in the inside of the circle so how i read it green blue then maybe whatever next and so on and then other combination will be green red and so on so this is the two different possibilities okay that's it let's go ahead now see that if blue uh, b have red cap right so therefore what will be c it cannot be red then it will be blue and if it is a blue one it should be red one so therefore in the maintaining the order c can have red or blue hat right that's it so c have red or blue for the case of d it will be again blue and red okay and for the case of e it will be red or blue hat so what happened then notice that right if i read read it from the outside of the circle and maintain the order right it will be g b r b r okay based on the color right green blue red blue and uh, red right so see that uh, everybody have a uh, cap fine and two adjacent people will not have the same hat right that's then one combination then there will be another combination uh, green red blue red and so on right so therefore if we say that if we place the green at the position of a so therefore there are two ways to rearrange right the other caps and all that stuff so therefore the possible number of rearranging the caps when our uh, cap is in at g right it will be 2 now see that i select i select the g in a so someone can select at b someone uh, select at d right so anybody can be a, uh, have the cap initial so that's why we multiplied 5 with that and therefore in this case 1 the possibilities is 10 now notice the case 2 case 3 are actually uh, uh, the same concept right only the uh, number of uh, red blue and everything will change right so for case 2 also right uh, one blue so i'll fix right this is blue okay so therefore if this is blue there will be two possible thing right one is maybe red or maybe green so if it is red it will be green if it is green it should be red right then uh, g r so therefore it will be g and then it will be r if i think the outside uh, red green then it will be red then again green right so again you see that there will be two options and the first card right or the first hat b can be placed in five different ways so therefore this will be again 10 and similarly for case 3 it will be 10 as well so therefore the total number of arrangement right in this case will be 3 multiplied by 10 and that's why it will be 30 okay so 10 10 and 10 right that's it so that's why for this particular problem 30 is the correct answer hope you understood the problem thank you